Well, today, let's turn this here chuck roast into some great little tacos. And I'm talking about great. We're going to start out with seasoning. We're going to use a little mojo beef. Why? Because I believe chuck roasts come from cows. And beef is cow. Okay. The second little rub here is going to be Malcolm's Grande Gringo. Why? Because they're tacos and Grande Gringo, the Mexican rub. And just because we love lime, some of this twisted steel, lima loco. Hit them pretty heavy. Don't be scared. You know, it's a big chunk of meat. Get both sides, get the edges a little bit. What we're going to do, we're going to take these outside and put them on an awesome smoker. That'll be the outlaw smokers. We're going to stick them on here and we're going to run them probably two to two and a half hours at 300 degrees. When that's done, they should look a little like this. Hmm, nice little bark for two and a half hour cook. And they snort out mighty fine. Alrighty, here's the deal. We're not going to cook these tonight. So what we're going to do is get us out a crock pot bowl and a couple bottles of this salsa verde and one bottle of this cilantro lime salsa. Throw them babies down there in the black hole and uh, cover them with the salsa. Pretty simple. I like to uh, make things simple. I make it up, so I really don't know the man. Ooh, I don't. Anywho, like I said, we just make recipes up here. So we got some of this Chalua taco seasoning uh, from Sam. It snorted out good. So we're going to use about four seconds of that. All right. Now I seen a little salsa in there, so we don't want to waste it. But fill it up with about that much water. And uh, dump that in there, and that should cover all the meat. All right, get the lid on. We're going to stick it in the fridge overnight to let all them flavors just get together. Next morning, before you get up and go to work, I hope you work unless you're independently wealthy, now get that out and give it a snort test. See if you need anything else, and it does. How about a little bit more of that Lima Loco? All right, that's about what? Three and a half, four more seconds worth. Get that lid on, stick her in the hot part of the crock pot, turn, pot, pot, tea, turn it on low, then go to work. Ten hours later, we've got taco meat. Look at that. You can tell it's tender just by getting it out of their pot. And there we have mighty fine, great-looking taco meat. Okay, disregard or discard any fat or gristle that you don't want. Get you about three or four ladles full of that juice that's left in the bottom. And that's it. Now it's time to make some tacos. Clean off your old trusty board there and get out your manly taco holder. Let's build this taco. We're going to use a little Oaxaca cheese. Hope I said that right. But it's very good. I just found out about it or just bought some. And I decided I didn't want to get my board messy and I wanted two tacos. So just load her up with the meat and uh, get you some of this here corn salsa. It was smoked also. If you'll check out my shorts... Not the shorts on my body, but my video shorts uh, over there. I released it yesterday on that best sauce I ever had, I go ahead and tell you. It's Belgian tacos like you see there, more cheese. A little bit more cilantro, because we love cilantro. A little lime just for a little zing. And there you have it, my friends. That's a good-looking little taco. That meat melted a little bit of that cheese on the bottom, so we got two textures worth of cheese. And, ooh, juicy. Let me tell you, fellas. I've ate at a Michelin star... Mexican restaurant before and I just blew that out of the water with ingredients that you can just go down and buy at your local Walmarts nothing's overpowering and it all just blends together something awesome and that's it I'm glad you stopped by today and as always you know what I appreciate you and hopefully I'll see you next week Mojo's out